Thank you for joining me. This is Flamma Mavic. Um, this video I'm doing is born out of watching this one by 4K Drone UK, where he flies a Mini 2 FPV star with the Oculus headset. Uh, I've seen the question asked a few times, how can someone standing next to you see what you're seeing on the screen? And uh, you could use screencast, uh, Chromecast dongles, um, or you could use a HDMI, a HDMI out cable, for instance. And when I saw this video, it pointed me towards an app, and that's the app that I want to show you now. And it's this one, it's called ScreenStream over HTTP. Now, I'll give you a warning, it's not the best um, quality, there's a little bit of lag, uh, but if you just want someone to see what you're seeing and not worry too much about it, then uh, this is quite an ideal little app. I'll set it up now and I'll show you how it works. So once you've got the app installed and opened up, the most important thing is this address here. This is the one you're going to be using. Now, I'm on my phone's hotspot. I've linked my iPad to my phone's hotspot. If you're not familiar with hotspots and iPhones and Androids, go and do a quick Google search rather than me explain it to you. So what we need to do now is we need to put that IP address into the iPad. So I'm just going to just type in, it's 10.6918. I've already got it in from where I did before, so I'm going to press return. You'll see it comes up with that screen there, and it says press start and device. That's the start button. And then you get another prompt saying start now. Bear in mind, anything that's being screened will be people can see, so passwords and stuff, so be very careful. This does have a pin uh, lock protection, this app, so you can always invest in that should you need to. So you're going to click on Start Now, put that down. You can now see that the tablet here is mirroring what's on that one. So I'm going to change over to the DJI Fly app, which is in the background here. And that's the iPad there, and as I move around, you can see, you know, if it turns sort of quick, it does kind of a little bit of lag on it. But you're probably going to be flying in a forward direction, maybe pointing the camera down a touch like this. You know, you're not going to be doing sort of really fast turns like that. But it just gives the person next to you an idea of what you can see with your quad. And the best thing is, it's a free app, which I really do like. Uh, going back to uh, 4K Drone UK, his video, basically he took a pair of Oculus Rift glasses, which have apparently a, a, a web browser and Wi-Fi. And he just basically used the app to stream to his glasses. That's a really good idea because obviously the Mini and Mini 2 at the moment don't... Uh, well, the, well, the Mini 1 is supported by Litchi, the Mini 2 not yet. Uh, so people have been asking about getting sort of FPV to the goggles kind of thing. Uh, you maybe could, you know, use the similar thing in goggles, I don't know. But I just think this was a really, really neat and tidy idea. And as I said, it's, it's, it's the leg's not that bad considering I'm linked to my phone's hotspot, really. Uh, so yeah, just another quick video, because uh, people do sometimes ask in Facebook and so on uh, how they can have someone stood next to them seeing uh, what the drone is seeing. And this, I think, is a simple, free and uh, easy way to set it up. But that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again real soon.